time for another keyboard. You guys know me, I'm all about those white keyboards with outrageous RGB. This time, Kimu reached out for a detailed unboxing and review of their new Angel K68 model. Of course, I got the white one with Gatron red switches, my preferred gaming loadout. Let's get it unboxed and tested. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, on to the video. The Keymove Angel K68 comes in a white box with a stylized window at the front with the Keymove logo. It looks very good. At the back, we can see the product features. Main thing we can see here is that it's got a 3000 mAh battery. That's pretty wild for me, coming from an RK61 that has less than half that battery capacity. At the side, we can see that it's marked as the white wireless version with red switches. Since I will be mainly using this keyboard for typing and gaming, I opted for red switches. If I'm going for a keyboard just for typing, I always go for tactile brown switches. Once the cover is off, we can see the keyboard itself, the 2.4 GHz receiver, and a white box embedded into some closed cell foam to protect it from bumps during shipping. The keyboard also comes with a plastic cover that you can use when you're going to be AFK for a while to protect it from dust. That's an admirable addition, Keymove. Let's take out the receiver first. This is a good decision to brand the USB receiver, since most wireless peripherals now are using OEM housings for this, but no branding. It's hard to keep track which receivers go with which peripheral. Good thing this one is branded with K68, so we can be sure. Next up, the box. It just contains the braided stiff USB-A to USB-C data and charging cable. All right. Let's head on over to the keyboard itself. Here's the Keymove K68 with its user manual just under it. This contains a guide for all the keyboard functions. Let's set it aside for now and take a tour of the keyboard. So the Keymove K68 is an all-white mechanical keyboard that has a 60% layout. It features standard size mechanical switches, but cherry-stemmed low-profile keycaps. No worries, they are interchangeable. The switches on this model are removable and are mounted on a white metal backplate so you know they're sturdy, and they'll be reflecting and diffusing the RGB light once it's on. The stabilizers are cherry style as well, and are pre-lubed as we can see here. Great! There's some heft to this keyboard, it's fairly heavy. Here at the bottom of the face, we can see a screen printed silver Keymove logo, and along the sides of the entire keyboard is an RGB strip. You know I love to see that. Here at the left side of the keyboard are the switches. You can switch between Mac and Windows OS compatibility and a three-way switch for Bluetooth, wired, and 2.4 GHz wireless. The wired setting at the middle also acts as an off setting, as long as the keyboard is unplugged from its USB-C port here at the left front side. Turning the keyboard over, we can see that there is a large metal plate at the underside where the serial number of the keyboard and some more details are laser etched. Pretty cool. I'll probably end up polishing this plate because I'm a sucker for chrome details on my devices. At the bottom, we can see two rubber feet and at the top are two height adjustment feet. Thank god this comes with those since my two previous keyboards, the RK61 and the Womir K66, do not include height adjustment feet, so I've resorted to attaching door stops under the keyboard so I can type on them at a comfortable angle. One final detail about the underside are the screws have a rubber cover on them. Alright, let's turn on the keyboard and check out the onboard features. As soon as we open it, we're greeted with a very bright and very saturated RGB lighting. Just for comparison, here's the Keymove K68 RGB alongside my brightest keyboard, the Womir K66. As we can see, it's only slightly dimmer, mainly because the Womir has a fully acrylic see-through body. But the Keymove K68 can definitely roll with it no problem when it comes to brightness. Alright, let's head on over to key functions. And the Keymove K68 has some of the most complete keyboard functions I've seen yet on a 60% keyboard. Brace yourselves, this is a long one. Referring back to the manual, we're going to see there every function of the Keymove K68. 
First off, in Bluetooth mode, it can connect up to three devices and switch input to them just by pressing F and plus Z, X, or C. Long pressing these buttons will also put them into pairing mode. Next up, we have media controls. Fn plus J is play pause, Fn plus K and L are rewind and skip track, and Fn plus M, comma, and period control mute, volume down, and volume up respectively. Since the Keymove K68 does not have a dedicated function row, keys F1 to F12 are accessed by pressing Fn plus the number row. Pretty usual. The modifier cluster is also present here, from the U to the open bracket keys. Fn plus the Windows key will toggle Windows key lock and unlock, definitely a must during gaming. Fn plus space toggles function row lock, which means if you have it engaged, you won't need to press the Fn button anymore when accessing the F1 to F12 keys. Fn plus enter puts the keyboard into power saving mode. That's something I've never seen before. And since this keyboard supports profiles, you can switch through five different profiles by pressing Fn plus Q, W, E, R, and T. Fn plus right alt shows you the battery life and Fn plus G toggles pairing mode for the 2.4 GHz dongle if it ever comes disconnected. All right, time for the long part. Since a big selling point of this keyboard is its bright saturated RGB lighting, it just makes sense that a lot of the buttons are dedicated to controlling said RGB lights. And since we technically have two zones to control, meaning the keys and the light strip around the keyboard, we've got a lot of keys to cover. Fn plus forward slash cycles through the RGB mode for the keys, while Fn plus caps lock cycles through the RGB mode for the light strip. Fn plus down and up controls the brightness of the key lighting, and Fn plus left and right controls the speed of the lighting effect. Fn plus right shift controls the color of the RGB lighting, both the keys and the light strip. Fn plus tab controls the color of the light strip. Fn plus close bracket switches between hardware lighting and software lighting. And finally, Fn plus backspace turns off key lighting. Alright, that's every key function of the Keymove K68. It's a lot. Now let's show you all the RGB lighting options. We'll be tackling this in two sets. First I'll show the key lighting options, then I'll show the light strip options. Let's go. At stock, the keys are in rainbow RGB mode coming from the middle of the keyboard. Next are downward RGB, left to right RGB, circular RGB cycle, reactive typing per row, Reactive typing for the full row. Reactive typing ripple. Row scanner top to bottom. Wave lighting. Diagonal wipe left to right. Alternating RGB rows. Single color. Reactive typing per key. Random pastel RGB per key. Pastel droplets. Pastel rain. RGB random per key. Color breathing. RGB full panel cycle. And we're back to rainbow RGB. Alright, time for the light strip. By default, it's at RGB left to right. Next are the RGB full strip cycle, RGB breathing, RGB towards the middle, RGB scanner clockwise, RGB scanner back and forth, and finally off. That's all of the hardware features. Do note that this keyboard comes with software, but I will not be covering it in this video, since it is still in beta mode and I generally don't like covering software that's still in beta, since they rarely represent a final experience of a product software. I will be covering it in the fall review, so yeah, subscribe to this channel if you would like to see that. Alright, let's put a mic on this and let's test it out for typing. So here's what everybody is waiting for. 
Just for reference, I will be typing first on two keyboards, my RK61 with Gatorin Browns and my new P Air 75 with low profile Gatorin Reds, just so you have a comparison point between the sound signatures of the different keyboards. RK61 first. Then here's the new Fee Air 75. And finally, here's the Keymove K68. Wow, all right, it's satisfyingly talky straight out of the box. If I'm not mistaken, these Gatron Reds are lewd straight from the factory. I mean, I can feel them. And there is zero scratchiness to the switches. Bottoming out feels solid too. There's no feeling of the body being hollow, even though this is a predominantly plastic keyboard. That's definitely the metal backplate at work. Key rebound and reset is okay, although it kind of feels sluggish, like it's very slightly slow to go back to neutral after letting go of the key. But that might just be my fingers adjusting from typing on the Catherine Browns and the RK61, which has a very fast reset. My first impressions are definitely good. There are no glaring flaws that I can see with the Kimo K68 just yet. And my overall experience so far has been pretty alright. But we'll see in a week if that's still the case, since I will also be releasing a full review of this. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you would like to see that. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Keymove Angel K68 mechanical keyboard. Do you have any questions about it? Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like and subscribe, check out my previous video, and stay tuned to my channel for more tech and tech-adjacent videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.